And we're back at the 2018 Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference Football Media Day here in Norfolk, Virginia, coming to you from the main hotel. I told you I saw the green and orange jackets in my peripheral vision. What do Rattlers do? Strike, man. Strike, 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 strike and strike, strike again. again. There you go. Oh, man. Still remember hearing that all the time, man. Uh, peace out. Good shout out to the old president, Dr. Humphreys. Nobody did it like Dr. Humphreys did it, but the Rattlers, known for striking. Yes, sir. When's the last time y'all bit somebody? Man, I ain't worrying about the past. Got, you know, got the season coming up soon. Going into camp, I'm just looking forward, man. And there's going to be a lot of striking this upcoming season for sure. Gotcha. And that's Ryan Stanley, the junior uh, quarterback. Kind of, you brought some. Uniformity that position, entrenched as the starting quarterback now, coming up for your junior season. What do we expect to see from your game? Uh, just a, a total breakout year, you know. Anything you think y'all have seen in the past, it, it's nothing what it's about to be this next season. You know, I've been working on a whole nother level uh, with my strength and coach, uh, Coach Parker Brooks. He's doing a great job with the guys, and I'm just going crazy, man, day in and day out, and really uh, paying attention to my uh, meal plan and what I'm eating, trying to take the uh, put my body in best shape going into camp here soon, and uh, I'm just ready to take my game to that next level. I'm stuck on something that you said. How you going to tell me, oh, yeah, uh, well, Coach Parker, my offensive coordinator, he's doing a great job. No, no, uh, <laughs> strength, strength and conditioning. Coach. Oh, strength and conditioning. He's doing great. Okay. Yeah. I was like, man, you don't have the players telling the coach he's doing a good job. No, 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 coach supposed yeah. to tell the players he's oh, doing no, a good no, no, job. Just, I got you. I'm giving my strength coach a <laughs> shout out. Well, I get, you're just as confident as that look is, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, got, sir. Jabril, this is Jabril Hazley, one of the best linebackers in the, in the MEAC conference. Does he have that swag all the time like that? All the time. Facts. All the time. All the time. <laughs> is that right? What, 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 what's going on? I got to ask. We, we see the shot there. What's going on, man? Y'all, y'all keeping that hair kind of long and yeah. lengthy down there, yeah. huh? Well, y'all, y'all got to battle the battle the hair down there in <laughs> Tallahassee. Nah, not, not even. Who, who gets not more even. compliments on the hair? You, cause that's tight. I give you credit. It's tight. Sometimes I see some some dreads come up here, and I'm like, oh, that ain't tight. That's tight. <laughs> and then he come up here, yours tight too. Who gets yeah, more compliments on the hair? Yeah, I might take that one. Is that right? I might take that one. Okay, <laughs> I got you. But Jabril, let's talk about it. You're, you're the senior linebacker, and. You've seen, you know, the Coach Wood era has now come to an end. Now you got Coach Simmons coming in. Just from that standpoint alone, how has the team embraced Coach Simmons? Um, well, I feel like we em we embraced him very well. He's a um, very outstanding guy. I kind of knew Coach Simmons before when he recruited me um, from Prairie View when I was coming out of junior college. So I actually kind of knew him already a little bit and already knew what he stood for. And uh, yeah, we, we like Coach Simmons a lot. Now, uh, defensively, you know, I think the expectation going into the season is, hey, Simmons comes in, he's offensive coordinator, he's going to put some points up on the board. That's what they want to see. Defensively, what do y'all got to do defensively to not get pushed around? Only time I, I would see, and it wouldn't be, you know, the linebacker core a little bit, but it seems like sometimes in this conference a couple teams will get the upper hand on y'all in the trenches. Mm -hmm. What are y'all doing to address that? Um, well, we got some, some new guys, some transfers. We got some um, guys that – was uh didn't play last year stepping up this year for the people that's gone uh, we missing elijah price he uh tra he uh graduated so we got some um we got some people to replace him yep. you know so um and we're more attacking this year so we, we're gonna be good gotcha ryan yes, willie sir. simmons comes in i'm sure you you looked up his resume yep. he puts up points he wins oh, yeah. championships puts up points there how exciting is that for you to have a, a former college football great uh, quarterback when he was at Clemson and then has done a great job as an offensive coordinator wherever he's been. Yeah. How excited are you about playing for him? Uh, that was huge. You know, when uh, Coach Simmons first got the job, that's one of the big things that people um, really, really uh, fan uh, not fantasize about him. You know, his, his explosive offense and how uh, willing it is to put up points. And with me being the quarterback, you know, that's huge. And that's, that just got me, you know, so much more ready for this season. And I got a great feel for it throughout the spring being with Coach Simmons and getting the feel for the offense and the playbook. And, you know, I'm just I'm just in there with him, you know, trying to perfect my craft day in and day out. What have been some of the changes from an offensive philosophy? Uh, what are we doing? When I, when I think of Coach, Coach Wood's philosophy, it seemed like it was very much geared towards the pro game mm. and not the college game. Yeah. Uh, is that what are you seeing now from – uh, Coach Simmons, what do you but anticipate? Our offense is a uh, much more explosive and up tempo, and um, I don't want to give out too much, but you know, a little more RPOs here and there. I don't want to, you know, y'all will see come um, come September. I don't, I don't, I don't want to get too much into what we got coming, but you know, m much more explosive, and we got big things coming offensively. Gotcha. What do, what do y'all know about? Throw a couple things out there because it's fam you. When, when y'all hear about Bullet Bob Hayes, you hear about the Rack Boys, you hear about. Earl Holmes, you yeah. hear about 
the Nate Newtons of the world, the Terry Mickens, all these guys yeah. that made and y'all are the next tradition. What do you, what do you think of what what come to your mind when I mention some of those names? Yeah, that, that's some uh, Coach Simmons really takes pride in you know the history of our school and some of the great names that have passed through and walked those same hallways that we are walking now. And you know it's just it just it just motivates us just seeing that that these big time names have came out of the same university that we are at now. And you know we're just planning to be those next big names, next household name, Ryan Stanley. What do you know about 1978? You ever heard about 1978? That's the, um, I want to I say that's the, uh, the year. That's Get them right, man. Come on, man. Florida yeah, A&M. The, uh, always say that. Although, uh, though I didn't go to FAMU, we always yeah. take pride in the only HBCU to with win a national, national championship. championship yeah. right. was Florida yeah. A&M. Yes, you know, sir. I got real close to, uh, real close to the, uh, Youngstown State when they got to the semis. That was the first year, was that was first year of FCS National Championship. Yeah, correct. yeah they, yes, they won it. So that's the stuff in which that's, that program was built on that. Yes, sir. So I think some of the disappointing part has been over the past couple of years seeing FAMU just been middle of the pack. Mm -hmm. So do y'all take that personal to say, you know what, no more middle of the pack. We're going to strive for greatness here, Florida. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. Sir. yes, sir. Yeah, man, day in and day out, that's what we're striving for. We're not striving to be in the middle of the pack, you know. Like I said, we've been working hard this whole off season, you know, uh, to be at the top, top of top of this top of this conference. And you know, we're not shooting for anything less than that. You guys making any changes defensively? You can tell right away with the new coaching staff. Oh yeah, a lot, a lot of a uh, lot of changes. But um, I don't want to give out too much either. So, okay. <laughs> I, I got you. Well, I tell you, before I remember, Coach Holmes was there. It was a big three-four. Then I know you had to change over again and go uh, with the four-three. So I guess that's one of the things. Uh, how you go? What's your base formation going to be? That ain't no uh, secret. They're going to see yeah, that now. Come uh, on now. We're going to uh, base 4 two, five okay. now. So I got you. Give an opportunity to use some of that Florida speed. And are y'all as fast as people think y'all are? Yes, sir. We faster. You're yeah. faster? We faster. All right. So you're going to put up some numbers. Y'all know about the Rack Boys? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, know about sir. the Rack Boys? Yes, I think they want some Rack Boy numbers yeah. there in oh, Tallahassee. Yeah. No so doubt. No doubt. elephant in the room. We know you want to compete every year for the title. But if you can't win the title, what y'all going to do to win that classic? Florida Classic. I mean, we're taking it one game at a time. Like okay. I said, we're shooting for that title. And when it comes around, we'll, we'll, we'll be more than prepared to beat Bethune this year. You know, we better I'm about to walk off this set. For what? Because you're going to sit here and tell me it's one game at a time, but that Bethune-Cookman game ain't I just special. said we're going to beat them. Yeah, man. We, you know, that's always in the everybody back of our say, mind. We got a sour taste from last year. You say you're going to beat everybody. Year. Yeah. You got to. But I'm saying, what are you going to do? To end that streak, when's the last time Florida a and beating Bethune? Well, I couldn't believe the number when I heard I believe it. Believe 2010. Yeah, so 2010, so eight yes, years sir. in a row. Does that motivate y'all during the offseason as well? Like, man. Yes, sir. Like I oh, said, yeah, we got that course. sour taste yes, in our mouth from these past few years that I personally have lost. But you know, like the former, like you said, it goes back to 2010. And we're gonna end that streak this year. It's over. Yes, sir. It's over. Do me a favor. Look right there in that camera over there and tell everybody why. Not only y'all gonna win that classic. Yes, but y'all going to bring the strike back to Tallahassee. Like I've said here twice, man, we've been working day in and day out. And I believe we've been working harder than any of these other teams here. And this is the year of the Rattler, baby. You're either going to buy in, or you, you with us, or in our way. Yes, sir. <laughs> he just said, yes, sir. That being said, best of luck to you all. We'll see it all on the field. Look forward to watching the Rattler football program under the new era, the head coach Willie Simmons era down there in Tallahassee. We'll have more from Norfolk, Virginia. When we return, coming up, oh yeah, the host institution. Behold, I see some green and gold. Norfolk State, y'all.